nephritic syndrome yet another clinical condition in which excess protein is excreted from the body but with difference in range and other signs and symptoms nephritic syndrome has protein urea ranging between 4 to 40 mg per meter square per dl let's start with general features the features include subnephrotic protein urea mild edema oliguria hematuria and hypertension although a direct sequel cannot be drawn as we saw in nephrotic syndrome but we can understand this as further damage to the glomeruli results in leak of rbc but as the disease progresses fibrosis occurs which prevents massive protein leak and hence milder edema also there is decrease in filtration across glomeruli hence causing oliguria which provides feedback for ras activation to increase gfr resulting in increased blood pressure let's move ahead causes of nephritic syndrome most common cause of acute nephritic syndrome in children is infectious cause that is psgn post streptococcal glomerular nephritis let's dive into the topic of psgn psgn occurs due to infection caused by group a beta streptococci involving age group of 5 to 12 years boys are affected more than girls mechanism of development of psgn is based on type 3 hypersensitivity reaction which involves immune complex deposition and later the complement system gets activated leading to inflammatory response hence damaging the glomeruli let's see what happens next the clinical features although the disease start as infection of throat or pyoderma but later in typically 1 to 3 weeks immune complexes settle in kidney and produces the bunch of clinical features as we discussed in starting collectively known as nephritic syndrome i would like to highlight the importance of the time period involved as it is seen that if the nephritic syndrome occurs in less than 1 week of infection then usually iga nephropathy is considered as the cause but as it crosses the 1 week we shift to psgn as it is rare for the cases of iga nephropathy to develop after a week we take help of the latent period as the sign and the symptoms of psgn and ig nephropathy are almost the same as we discussed hence it is important to consider this latent period in the history of the patient yes you are thinking right the biological markers are more definitive and differentiating but we are talking on the clinical grounds here now let's see the complications the complications of a progressive inflammatory glomerular disease is the renal shutdown or what we say as acute kidney injury or aki in short another but rare condition associated with nephritic syndrome is press or posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome it is basically a clinical and radiological condition in which signs of neurological damage is found now let's see children with press syndrome children with press syndrome may develop confusion ataxia nystagmus hypertension or mild increase in icp although the exact pathophysiology of press isn't known some consider it to be related with hypertensive encephalopathy some consider it to be due to deposition of immune complexes in the circle of willis etc one must note that posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome is more associated with patients under calcineurin inhibitors or with the history of heart liver or kidney problems or the transplantations now let's see the investigations the investigation in psgnr tlc esr crp all are increased aso or anti streptolysin o test showing rising titer anti dns b also increased and the serum c4 level which is decreased initially but rapidly returns to normal please note that psgn has only transient decrease in serum c4 whereas condition like sle has persistent decrease in serum c4 levels the gold standard investigation remains the biopsy only let's finally come to the treatment 
although we have covered so much about nephritic syndrome but the treatment is simple and straight for psgn that is wait and watch conservative management is done and most patient recovers fully in 4 to 6 weeks of time note unlike rheumatic fever antibiotic therapy in psgn is not given since antibiotic therapy does not affect the course of the disease